Got the orchid. Easy as dusting for fingerprints. Well, almost. Go! so bad yourself? I meant the orchid. Once upon a time, there were two orphans, a boy and a girl, left to fend off the world all on their own. Until I took them in. I'm out. I run the academy, a training ground for boys and girls of um, unique talents. So now they have me and each other, and it's cool. They're growing up fast, real fast. He's a prize-winning surfer, a poet, and an expert safe cracker. She knows fencing, etiquette, and explosives. They're masters of disguise, martial arts experts, and fluent in 20 languages. They're Delilah and Julius, and they're saving the world one crime at a time, baby. This precious hybrid orchid holds the key to major progressive medical advances, Dig. And also, it's a beautiful flower. Nice job reacquiring the flora, folks. The Panamanian president's gonna be muy bueno estatico. But spreading the knowledge further, your teamwork just didn't cut it. I don't want to lose you out there, children. Both your parents were righteous teams. Use them as an example. But hey, hey, you know, you did, like, get the flora back, right? So, um, take the rest of the week off, chill out, and rejuvenate. Tickets to the Intercontinental Games? Use them to watch teamwork in action. Get what I'm signifying? I guess. I still don't get why Al gave us two tickets to the women's beach volleyball competition. Well, women's beach volleyball is not bad. I mean, it's a real sport and very viewer friendly. We could definitely learn something about teamwork from their teeny bikinis. Don't joke. We're not that bad a team, are we? I sort of thought we were the best team. We are the best team. It is what it is, D, a week off. Which we might end up spending here if the train doesn't come. <laughs> Come on, let's check it out. Oh, Delilah, it's a week off. Why do you always have to... Oh. So what exactly are you planning on doing when you find our train? Show the conductor the schedule. Train, run! There's nowhere to go! Down! It's not coming very fast. Or very loudly. Hey, hey, you punks. You seen a train around here somewhere? One would assume it should be on the tracks, no? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah. Well, what are you kids doing here anyway? It's not safe, you know. Follow me, I'll escort you out. <gasps> What's the average gap below a subway car? 30 inches. What size are your pants? 29. Uh, 44. Let's go! There! <laughs> Well, there's the train late as usual. Mystery solved. Mm, nope, that there's train 99. We're missing number 123. Not to worry, kitties. Nothing to be afraid of. How could a 30-ton train full of commuters go missing from the tracks? I don't know, never happened before. Head scratcher, kind of, you know, don't you think? Shh. You hear that? 
down! Sounds like stiletto heels. Go! Come on! Oh, uh, you go ahead. I'll stay here and, uh, and, uh, I'll watch your back. Yeah. Bummer cutting off your week so short, but it's not every day that a subway train goes missing. Especially not one holding the entire Intercontinental Games team from Xnophobia. Xnophobia? Xnophobia, a country so paranoid it like only announced it existed two years ago. A country so paranoid it would think nothing of starting a war over missing athletes. Ninja stars, stiletto heels, Sounds like misdeeds to me. Far out. Okay. Right away. Great news. All the passengers have been found in a dinghy in the middle of nowhere, so be quiet about this, guys. If the Snobovians realize their entire Intercontinental Games team went missing, they'll freak so heavily that it's... Well, I mean, here, take a look. Total nuclear annihilation. That's as heavy as it gets. Work as the team you're meant to be and get those athletes back. Any gadgets to help us out, Scarlet? Uh, thanks. Send me a picture, child. Now that's what I call teamwork. Bad news, no Zophobian team here. <laughs> Only Ms. Deed's assassins wear kimonos made of bulletproof silk. Blackbird at 12 o'clock. Best get you geared up to visit Miss Deed's HQ, kittens. Suction cups for hanging around. And my personal favorite, water capsule chewing gum. Keeps the body hydrated for eight hours, just in case you should find yourselves in a jam. Where's Al? Suiting up. We have to go undercover as the Snowfobians, so everybody thinks the team's still around. Uh-oh. I am Coach Ex-Slovakian of the Snowovian team. Hello. Hello. What's that smell, man? It's not my fault. I got Zedvin Quexborg's uniform. Who, man? Zedvin Quexborg? He's got the rich musk of a hard-working athlete. Smell. Stay tuned for our exclusive coverage of the Zenopian's first ever televised training session coming up. Ms. Deed's offices. Come on, partner. Let's put her in her place. Partner? You never call me partner. <laughs> um, thanks.
Delilah and Julius, a lovely surprise. Ms. Deeds, thanks for the helicopter escort. <laughs> yes, just having a bit of fun. You two really are quite a team. Not like your parents, but... Don't be coy. We know you kidnapped the Snowfovian athletes. But I suppose the days of truly legendary spy teams are gone. Visit soon. Ugh, I hate that woman. And we just have to prove she's up to something. I mean, the days of the legendary spy teams are gone. Please. I suppose we could always go into construction instead. What? Look, this place is full of dump trucks. Huh. Underground gardening? Time to pay Ms. Deeds a visit on our own terms, partner. You're watching the Snowfobian team practice, offering the world a sneak peek at what will be their first Intercontinental Games performance. Uh-oh. <gasps> 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 She knows we're here. Up you go. underground megacity. And a mystery train. She'd only build an underground city if she knew it would make her mucho stinking rich beyond her wildest, greediest, money-grubbingest dreams. It would if the world above was uninhabitable and she owned the only place people could survive. Uh-oh, company. Where to? Up! You could make the world uninhabitable by starting a nuclear war. The Snowfovians. Exactly. What is it? We need that team, like on the double, man. Like, they're calling us to the starting line, and we suck, man. We'll be right there, Al. We know what you're up to, Ms. Deeds. <laughs> the Xenophobians are such a paranoid people. We are not that paranoid, but we do not trust you. Any of you. See? When they discover their team's missing, kaboom! I love it. I've never seen anyone so giddy at the prospect of total world annihilation. I own the underground! And you'll be waiting with open arms and an open wallet. Yes, I applaud your grasp of economics. Why don't you join me? I can always use bright young minds like yours. You, madam, have an appointment with justice. Oh! Uh, no, you have an appointment with death, and it's Ms. And the Xenophobian government officials are making their way to the box for this historic event. I'll keep them busy. Oh, where are Delilah and Julius, man? Just so you know, I did think we were the best team. Never say that in the past tense again, Julius. Um, excuse me? Hello? Can you move me away from my incompetent partner so I can die in peace? Ha, ha, ha. 
I'll get the team. We'll meet at the subway tunnel. The Snophobian team, please take your place for the first heat of the relay race. This is your last call. Now, who wants water, you thirsty lovelies? Yes! Huh? Mm. Ow! Cover yourself, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, well, I'll be. I've never seen anything like it. A strange, sun fearing people, the xenophobians. Mm. Hi, I'm Julius. I'm here to bring you back to the games. Follow me. Stop! We trust no one. You don't have a choice. Fair point. We follow. Only we are too dehydrated to jump. We have been here a long time without water. Oh, here. Chew on this. Why? How do we know it's safe? Chew it. Next shot, and you're mine. built below water. That's why the dinghy just appeared out of nowhere. So go, go, go! I know that I am no longer fit, but I'm going on diet soon. But not low carb. I don't trust low carb. Come on, I'll spot you. I still mistrust you. I wouldn't expect anything less. Come on, come on! <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely indeed. Remember this team, Ms. Deeds. Delilah and Julius. Don't forget it. Sure you know how to drive this thing? It's a standard model XQ142A. How hard could it be? That's why I like you. Uh, Julius, better question. Do you know how to surf this thing? Uh-oh. Zylogian. You are truly a great team, Delilah and Julius. Come on, we gotta go! We're just getting news from the wire service that a nearby lake has completely drained. Completely! I'll get you, Delilah and Julius! I'll get you yet! <laughs> but that's not nearly as exciting as the Snophobian Intercontinental Team's first race. On your mark. Get set. Go!
you made it just in time, guys. I like your style, man. It, um, well, you, well, it reminds me of your folks, I guess. You know, they would have been proud. You know, we may not be a team like any that came before us, but I think maybe we're something better. Our own kind of team? It's the best there is. Delilah and Julius. I like the sound of that. Me too, partner. <laughs>